sometimes the world just doesn't make sense to me. Driving recently a thousand miles to see one of my favorite heroes perform at a concert, it gave me a little time to think about this world that doesn't make sense. I thought of a few characters in life that that help shape meaning for me. I thought about a little dog, Max, that my friend went to go to Atlanta to pick up because she wanted a dog. But when she went to to get the dog, she didn't know about Max because Max was blind. She was trying to walk Max down some steps and he just fell down the steps because she didn't realize that if you don't tell a blind dog that Max, you got to go down the stairs, Max will fall down the stairs. And so she wasn't quite sure about Max. I was driving along a little further and I was thinking about Alvin. Alvin Turner is a fellow here in Starville. A lot of people who don't really know him, they would just say he's a crippled old guy. Because Alvin has crippling arthritis, a spinal cord condition, and epilepsy. And he, he walks with a cane. And I first met Alvin when I started covering the Starville Board of Auburn meetings as a newspaper reporter. And at every single meeting, Alvin would go up there when it was time for the citizens' comments. And Alvin would say, the people are concerned about, and he would have a whole list of things. I hung out with Alvin once, and I, I walked with him to his house, and in, in the housing project that he lives in. And then I was driving a little further down the interstate, during these thousand miles, and I was thinking about the performer, one of my life heroes, that I was going to hear play. His name is Billy Joe Shaver. He's missing a lot in this world. First of all, he's missing some fingers. Because after he got kicked out of the military for beating up an officer, he was working in a mill and he cut off some fingers. And so I was driving and thinking some more about these people. And I was thinking about Billy Joe Shaver. I was thinking about how he lost his son Eddie to a heroin overdose a number of years ago and how he lost his wife Brenda. And, and then I was thinking how all the pain that he has endured in his life has made him have a gift. A, a, a storytelling gift that he can share these things with people and it's this raw stories that he sings and people can really relate to it. And then I was thinking about Alvin again and when I was hanging out with Alvin I said, Alvin why do you do all this stuff? Why do you go and tell these people about the concerns of these people? Why did you help the woman down the street from you get one of those medic alert bracelets because she has diabetes? Why do you do this stuff? And Alvin said, well, I figured if people would see an old crippled man like me doing something, they might want to do a little more themselves. And then I was thinking about my friend and Max. And she came from a family that didn't show love in a lot of ways that we think of it. And when she was a child, her, her mother didn't even tell her that she loved her. And so Max was a special gift to her because she learned the compassion and empathy that you have to think of when someone depends on you. And she learned love. She learned how to express love and how to think about someone. And, and so as I was in that concert, 
listening to Billy Joe Shaver play, he sang a song that has always meant a lot to me, but it's also meant a lot to one of my other heroes in life, Johnny Cash. When Johnny Cash was in the Betty Ford Clinic for alcohol and drug problems, he got up each morning and he looked in his mirror and he sang a, a Billy Joe Shaver song called Old Chunk of Coal. And he said, I'm just an old chunk of coal. I'm just an old chunk of coal. But, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. He said, I'm going to grow and, and glow till I'm so blue, pure perfect. I'm going to put a smile on everybody's face. I'm going to kneel and pray every day. Just in case I become vain along the way. I'm just an old chunk of coal, but I'm going to be a diamond someday. And sometimes we look around in the mirror that reflects our lives and we see a lot of coal, but sometimes we need to really think about the, this coal that we see and what we might really see is a lot of we might see a world full of diamonds.